Hey folks, um, Richard Mellor here with Facts Working People again. I'm with the blog Facts Working People and I, I'm just sitting on the porch here reading the Wall Street Journal. I, I, it's just, you know, a friend of mine was saying the other day how that they were feeling a bit depressed about the situation. Well, why shouldn't we feel depressed about the situation? In every way, the capitalist crisis comes into our lives with its health healthcare, the environment, uh, crime, housing, no matter what. It's all all of the um, unraveling, the consequences of the unraveling of capitalism are uh, entering our lives in a much more concentrated form. The whole state of California here is again just nothing but wildfires. Uh, towns and cities are being well, towns and are being evacuated. Houses are burning. It's 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 a wild, wild situation. But I was just reading this little piece here about <clears throat> you know the uh, the Republicans, which is been taken over by like sort of all elements Christian right wing Christian nationalists evangelicals fascists and uh, white supremacists and all a, a, a hodgepodge of right wing fanatics and they've been sending they're a, and very anti immigrant and they've been sending putting immig you know they're the southern states Florida Texas that are on the close to the border of course California is as well but it's a democratic state and they are not quite as uh, the, the first they're using this issue as a political, it's politically good for them to take the positions they do uh, um, uh, and certainly they're not uh, big, 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 big supporters of uh, uh, southern immigration into our country here. Uh, Obama used to be called the deporter in chief, you know, so but the thing is, so Republican uh, governors like DeSantis in Florida, most of these people are all Christian, right-wing Christians too. Uh, uh, Greg Abbott uh, uh, in Texas and the other guy in Arizona, I can't remember wh wh who he is, they're, they're busing and shipping people, uh, uh, immigrants, to, um, to uh, democratic states uh, uh, and dumping them there. And uh, I mean, they just sent uh, 50 migrants seeking asylum from uh, Venezuela, uh, who's the crisis in which the crisis in Venezuela has been hugely exacerbated by the US sanctions and assault on Venezuela, just like in Cuba and so forth. And um, so they sent 50 migrants from Venezuela up to Martha's Vineyard, which is a very waspy, rich people's area. And um, and <laughs> it's funny that the Democrat, the Democrat says, um, she says in response to that, in response to that sending of 50 migrants from Venezuela, she says, uh, uh, oh yes, this is her name's Karen Jean-Pierre. She said that flying the migrants to Martha's Vineyard was, quote, a political stunt, which it is, by Republican governors and a, quote, cruel, inhumane way to treat people who are fleeing communism. Well, they're not fleeing communism. She doesn't mention the sanctions and the war and the... Uh, uh, the domination of Venezuela's economy and everything else in Latin America by U.S. imperialism, but they're sending these migrants. What, what, what horrible scum these people are! I mean, you're talking about people's lives, and they're they're, they're playing. They call it playing politics in the U.S. It is a political stunt. I mean, uh, uh, the DeSantis, this right-wing Florida governor, says we're not a sanctuary state. He says unless you're a rich Eastern European tennis player. Um, we're not a sanctuary state, he says, or a, 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 a business person or one of the uh, 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 Cuban capitalist class who, who, who uh, ripped off everybody over there. We are not a sanctuary state, he says. Uh, it's better to be able to go to a sanctuary jurisdiction, and yes, we will help facilitate that transport for you to be able to go to greener pastures. How he's being sarcastic there, and, 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 and despite with complete inhuman feeling toward the the plight of people that immigrate north out there, economic refugees is who they are. US imperialism's policies in Central America and in terms of Mexico, which is North America also, uh, um, has, uh, th these, these countries will never develop. They've been plundered, robbed. Uh, US, US has overthrown regimes there, like in 53, the overthrow of Albenz in Guatemala, a, a, a sort of uh, lefty democratic regime uh, uh, that wanted to distribute land to the peasantry and so forth. 
The U.S. overthrew that government in '53. The same year, it overthrew the Iranian government, a democratic, secular, somewhat secular government in Iran. And so that's what he says about it. <clears throat> he goes on to say that the um, the Biden Harris administration continues ignoring and denying the historic crisis at our southern border, which has endangered and overwhelmed Texas communities for over two years. Says Greg, Greg Abbott, the Texas. Uh, the Texas governor. This is the billionaire oil state. There's billion outside of California. That's the next state with most billionaires. We have about a hundred and hundred and sixty something billionaires, I think, in the state of California. But Texas spent 13 million driving these 8,000 immigrants to Washington D.C. And uh, um, the journal reports here that. Uh, earlier this year, Arizona spent 1,800 uh, sent 1,800 migrants on buses to Washington at a cost of four million dollars. The Texas has spent 13 million to drive these people and dump them in Democratic states. This is a, a struggle between these two capitalist parties over who can govern this country and plunder the world for the next four years. And uh, I mean that that statement by that Democratic politician. Uh, you know, they're fleeing communism. Venezuela is not a, co a, co a communist country at all. Um, so, but I mean, the, the thing for me is is just the complete, they're pl toying with these human beings' lives. I have a couple of th points about immigration in this country. I'm an immigrant in this country. Firstly, I wouldn't have the nerve to tell any uh, person of indigenous descent with a drop of indigenous blood they don't belong on this landmass or the, the the Americas. Secondly, the reason that the people are fleeing north, they're not they're not just immigrants, they're economic refugees. The US is responsible for the reason people are coming here. US capitalism is responsible for the reason US uh, people are coming here. The same reason Britain was responsible and England originally were, was responsible for the Irish coming into 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 that part of the world. And then they were attacked. They did all the dirty work and then they were attacked racially for doing so. But what what the other thing that makes me think about it is I was I wrote this just to, uh, to a comment on a Facebook post. I had a good friend that was in a group with me. I was in a socialist group. A lot of people know the so it was a CWI. We were called Labour Militant here until they changed it into a more acceptable uh, 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 cooperative. Uh, <laughs> Uh, organization and um, she was a fighter she was in CWA she was a she was an she was a shop steward she was a real tough woman and, and a good woman that fought for workers rights and I went to see her I found that she was in a Alzheimer's home in Petaluma and I went up to see her and she didn't even know who I was and I sat there and watched this young Latina feed her food and she just put it in her. I had to go outside. I was so it was a bit moving for me because old Margie, her name was Margie Clouser, Margie Covington. She was from St. Louis originally, I think. And um, I went outside to compose myself. But as I came back in, I spoke to the woman at the counter and I, I explained what Margie had done and what a fighter for people she was, what a fighter for women and workers. And then I told the young uh, uh, Latina, and most of the workers were Latinos, and I told them, a couple of them, you know. So anyway, by the time I come back, Margie was, they'd taken Margie into a room, there were three, three women in there, and one, the stench was just incredible. And... Uh, as I walked in, it just hit me in the face, you know, Margie was over there in her bed, she didn't know who I was, it was very sad, and um, uh, we should have these laws for euthanasia, I'll tell you, like the Dutch do, and uh, I look across and uh, another older woman had messed her pants, crapped herself, and this middle-aged Latino uh, uh, was cleaning her, you know, and as he finished up and put the sheets over and covered her up and made sure she was okay, and as he walked out, I thanked him and we had a little chat. I can't remember, but I thought to myself, I don't want to hear any complaints about goddamn immigrants, and especially our immigrants from the southern border. It just is, it just sickens me. But um, this whole game they're playing with him, and, and I tell you, there is no doubt there is a difference between the Democrats and Republicans. There always has been. On the main issues, they're not. There, are, there are not differences. They've supported all the wars. Uh, th th this, this love. They're trying now to make gains in the two political in the House and in the Senate. Uh, so they're going to be all uh, big on some of the. Biden's just. Uh, um, supported uh, 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 eliminating a Trump law for federal workers. He's also settled this uh, 
a looming, a looming strike that would have taken place between um, the railroad workers and the railroad companies. Uh, uh, he just settled that, and in, in, uh, it seems in favour of railroad workers being able to go to doctor's visits and take time off, pay time off for doctor's visits without being victimised. They, they, it's all political for them. The Democratic Party is not a solution to our woes. As far as the trade union leadership goes, they're a disgusting, criminally negligent bunch. And uh, they, they say almost nothing. Uh, about what's going on here, we have a, we've had a three or four, three month dispute between the ILWU, which can, which is org uh, the, the docks of the West Coast are organised, and they're in the ILWU, International Longshore and Workers Union. Um, they've been in negotiations. They've made an agreement with Biden and the bosses that there'll be no strike, and and they'll accept concessions. What an opportunity to, for them to to widen the struggle to include all the social needs, the social uh, demands that people are, are raising at this point in time. We've heard nothing from, from the, about this dispute. Completely in bed with the bosses and with the Democratic Party. That's the situation there. Anyway, these are just a few comments uh, that I wanted to make about this horrible situation with immigrants and people. That they just treat, treat them like, uh, like vermin, you know? It's, it's, it, the, the ruling class is them, and particularly in this country, it's the most ruthless ruling class in history. Completely inhuman, violent thugs is the p other people that run this country. All right. Anyway, just venting a little bit. That's me, Richard Miller, Facts Working People. If I put this on YouTube, could you like it, share it, and subscribe to the channel? All right. And the blog is we know what the URL of the blog is we know what's up dot blogspot dot com. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye.